the laps will be a 15 lap B main. It's going to be interesting. A lot of these drivers are going to work their way through the field pretty quickly. So we'll go 15 laps for the B main, 15 laps for the Bandos, 25 for the A main for the Legends. Then we got 100 laps with the Pro Late Models and 150 to end the night with the Super Lates. Taking a look at the starting lineup, the red number five is driven by Will Hare. He qualified 17th, just missed the top 16, and qualifying yesterday by a matter of about three hundredths of a second. Starting second, the 18th fast qualifier, the 62 of Dylan Bongiovanni. Matthew LaPrade in the 18, starting inside of row number two, the 30 of Trey Tatterzak, starting outside in the number 30. The three on the inside of row number three, scheduled to be Emily Arenas, and the five, which you see on the right side of the screen, driven by Ronnie Weehunt. Getting a little heat in the tires, and we'll get the one-to-go signal. One lap until we go green flag racing at Watermelon Capital Speedway at Crisp Motorsports Park. Top four drivers. Top four drivers will transfer into the A-Main feature event for the Legend Cars today. The rest will be done as we get ready to go green flag racing off of turn four. 15 laps the distance. Top four going into the A-Main through turn four. Side by side, and green is out. Speed Fest underway. The Protect Your Melon Buckle Up Speed Fest 2024. Man, Bon Giovanni just really laid it to the five machine of hair down to one and two. Hair should be able to get clear and head into three and four. Top two have pulled away and really stretching their arms as they work their way off corner exit. But it's all going to be that five machine up front leading lap number one. Will Hair out front. Dylan Bon Giovanni in second. And running third, Matthew LaPrade. That's the way they started this event. First, second, and third. And that's the way they run right now with Will Hare leading the way. We'll complete lap number two of a scheduled 15 laps. LaPrade with a huge bump to the back end there. Bon Giovanni, that's just for that second position. You really have to look at Tatterzak here. He's in fourth, and he will be under fire soon by Wee Nut. And the top three have really put into their own ballpark, should we say, but... Tatterzak's going to be on fire, under fire to possibly not even make the A-Man. Yeah, Tatterzak driving the number 30 car in the fourth position, trying to close the gap on the top three, and it looks like he's able to do that. We have yellow. Field slowed. A big crash down in turn number four. Turn number four, the big crash. The number three of Emily Arenas knocking the left front off of the race car. Driver is moving around inside that race car, and that's a good sign because that looks like it was a huge hit for the number three of Emily Arenas. And ripped the entire left front suspension off the machine. Big hit on the inside wall for Arenas as we have the field slowing for the first caution of the afternoon. Three laps into the event That's in this 15-lap affair. And Emily's climbing out of the race car. Probably knocked the wind out of her. And this is a hard racetrack to run around. I mean, from the way the impact okay. looks like, it looks like she probably got loose to the center of the corner. And with how the progressive banking works, it's very easy for that legend car to grip up to the center and drive right into the inside wall. I'm going to take a look at a replay. We might be able to see what happened to the number three of Emily Arenas. Watch the top of the screen. Oh, look, looks like the left front wheel just came off and that shot her back down into the inside wall. Here's a slow-mo replay up upper right of the screen, watching the car was against no, the inside it, it wall back, already, yeah. and then the left front comes off right there, and then back down into the wall. Might not have been as hard a hit as what we thought it was going to be because that left front was looked destroyed, but that was partly because the, the tire had already gone. Right, so she was already painting the inside wall, just trying to use every inch and got way too much that she could bargain for. Jonathan the inside Ramos, wall once, and that was it. Jonathan Ramos, Adam Mackey, and Bill Roth on the call of all of the action today from Watermelon Capital Speedway, the Protect Your Melon Buckle Up Speed Fest. Sizable crowd actually joining us today despite the frigid conditions. Folks, how many races have you been to in 37-degree weather when they start? Not very many, I'm sure. No, I don't think I've ever been to one. You have now. Yeah. It's pretty warm up here, though. We're, like, yeah. talking 65 <laughs> to 70 degrees all day long. Uh, 
Finished towing off the number three of Emily Arenas. Up next, the Bandoleros. They're lining up on pit road. Their feature event coming up as our second racing event of the day. Then it will be the A-Main for the Legends. Then the Jake Sierra All-Stars Tour presented by Chevrolet Performance hitting the racetrack. And then it'll be super late model time for a couple of the ASA branded tours. The Southern Super Series presented by Sunoco Race Fuels and the CRA Super Series powered by Jags, an accommodation event that has a strong field of 28 super late models. What a show we should expect for that 150 lap race. Uh, it's going to be exciting. We saw lap times in the what, 15 6, 15 7s, and even the pro late models. We got a couple machines down into the 15 9, so it's going to be very exciting race, multi groove racing. There hasn't been any rain since the last time they've hit the track. That was Friday, so there's still a lot of rubber built down on this racetrack. It's going to really widen out this groove, and it's going to be an absolute blast. Three laps completed, 12 laps to go. The top four have remained unchanged since the start of the race. They started first through fourth, and they are first through fourth right now. Does this yellow flag shake things up at all? Will the fifth-place car, Ronnie Weehunt, be able to make a challenge to move into the top four? He's definitely going to have the speed. He got to the back end of Tatterzak right before that caution came out, and even Bon Giovanni. Had a little trouble. LaPray went right smack to the rear end of that 62 machine. So these drivers, even though they are in the fast four, they're locked into the show. They still want to get more than they can because they know we nuts quick. Franklin will be quick. We think Cook may even also have a shot. So you never know how the rest of this race could play out. It could go green all the way through. And the next thing you know, we nut might get a little bit desperate late trying to go ahead and make it into the A main. So you kind of want every spot you can get. Three laps down, 12 laps to go. As the five of Will Hare ready to get this race back underway. The three of Arenas has cleared the racetrack. Unfortunately, on the back of the tow truck with our first hook job of the day. Double checking the race lineup, getting ready to go green here in the next lap or so. We'll go at least one more time around. Nope, there's the one to go. One to go signal out for a restart next time for the number five of hair. Will the top four remain unchanged or will there be a challenge from Ronnie Weehunt running in the fifth position? Could it be Franklin in the 77 trying to come from sixth? That's the top four right there. They are in transfer positions. Field picking up the pace, coming back to turn four. Green flag is out, and we are back underway. Bon Giovanni right to the rear end of Hare. Hare down to the inside, holding strong. The battle is now for that third position as the 18 machine of LaPray went around the outside but couldn't get much of it. Top five under a blanket heading to three. Yeah, the 18 didn't have a good restart. Was restarting in third, did Matthew LaPray. He gave up the third position, able to... Get a little cushion now as Tatterzak. He's up to third. He's got that car between him and the final transfer spot. Or the number five trying to move into the top four, but he's losing some ground. Ronnie Weehunt running fifth. Well, they do stretch their hands out, but the real battle is still for that lead. Bon Giovanni to the inside. Hare to the outside. Gets the runoff corner exit. Those two will tangle it out. It's a real battle. Also goes now for third. We've already seen the 18. LaPray get to the back end of the machine in front of him once. But the top two have separated out, heading to three and four. One thing you got to watch, you're running for the lead here, and you would love to win this B-Main, but it doesn't mean a whole lot to win a B-Main. You don't want to take any chances, get into an accident. You're locked in in that second spot. He's got a big opening there, and now we look back to the battle for third. The battle for the lead heats up. Here's the 62 of Bon Giovanni taking the top spot. Rips to the bottom, gets clear of the five machine of Hare. Hare may have a shot of a switch back, but won't be able to get back to him. Top four have really stretched out for the fifth, sixth, and seventh place machines, but they're going to shuffle this deck. La Parade back and forth. Tatterzak up to third. Hare wants a shot to the inside, and he's got it all lined in to turn three. Battle again for the lead. Takes it right back from the 62 of Bon Giovanni. Leading lap number eight at the line, Will Hare. Good racing in the front. 
top four positions. And as it heats up, they have built, as you mentioned, a huge lead over fifth, sixth, seventh. Want to take any chances here and some chances being taken. There was contact between second and third. They just stacked them up second, third, and fourth. And once again, Tatterzak now using that bumper to try to get Bon Giovanni up and out of the groove. He's going to have a shot down the back stretch. Looks to the inside and pulls alongside wheel to wheel. The parade is able to watch on and just navigate and see what is to move to use. Giovanni to the outside. Tatterzak to the bottom. Still that duel for that second position. You saw the 30 in turn two that time. Trey Tatterzak just back off a little bit as the 62 of Bon Giovanni closed the door. Second, third, and fourth on the screen. Leader Will Hare pulling away. Closing down the final four laps of this race. 11 down. They're closing on lap traffic as well. What are you going to do here? Because now what we thought was just a battle for second may also come down to the battle for the lead. Bon Giovanni has closed into Hare. Now about a car lane separating first and second. Top four all in line down to the inside lane. Lap 12 out of 15. See the slower traffic moving over to the outside lane. That's the 29 of Bowman Mayu letting the leaders race. And that they are for the lead. Bon Giovanni back out front. This could drop the five of Hare back to fourth. Looks to the outside. Now just stuck up there. Tatterzak to the inside. Pulls alongside. Wheel to wheel. Four drivers are locked in if they all get back to the start finish line and complete this race. Well, how badly do you want to win? Now the battle's for third as that five machine went from first to third. Pulled alongside, back wheel to wheel, coming to two to go. Final lap, white flag is waving, side by side for second. The leader, Bon Giovanni, pulling away into the second spot comes the 18 of LaParade. The 30 of Tatterzak looks back to the inside for second. Tatterzak down to the bottom, pulls alongside wheel to wheel. Bon Giovanni is going to win the B main. Battle for second at the line. Tatterzak gets it in. No, LaParade got him at the line. Puts Tatterzak back to third. Hare to fourth, and they'll be heading to the A main. Hey, they were all locked in to transfer positions, first through fourth. It didn't matter. They wanted the win. A lot of shuffling in the front of the field, and this was just for the B feature for the Legends. Those four drivers make the show for the A main coming up here in just a little bit. Congratulations to the winner. The number 62 of Dylan Bongiovanni, the winner of our Legend Car B-Main.